Hi, I'm Joe with Comfy Guild, and in this video today, we're going to show you the X9 wheelchair. Now we're going to open up the box today, we're going to take out the parts, and we're going to show you the assembly of the X9. Take standard house scissors, and we're going to cut the straps off with the box. All right, so this is the packing here. You're going to notice, first thing is that we have a really nice, robust packing process here, so your chair will be protected very well. Got some corner pieces here to protect it from falls. So when you get your chairs, it's going to be in a very good condition. I'm going to take a look at the stuff that's in here. First of all, we have the battery, which will be right here on top. This is the standard battery that comes with. This is a 12 amp battery. Okay, down below, we're going to have a bag down here. It's going to contain our charger for our wheelchair. We have the pump that's included with your wheelchair as well. We have a couple of tie straps and our product manual book in here. Now, there's some important information here that you always want to refer to when you're uh, putting your chair together. As you take a look at the manual, there's a lot of great information here to take a look at. Okay, so on page 25 of this product manual, you do have information here, two QR codes. One is going to be for registering the product, and the other one is going to be here for warranty information. Okay, so this box here that comes in, the box is going to be your leg rest. So we're going to open up this up in a little bit and I'll show you what those leg rests look like and how to uh, add those and assemble them into your chair. We do have a backrest here that we need to pull out. This is part of our chair that goes on the top where the headrest is at. We do have other packing materials that you can just pull out. Now, this itself is about 40 pounds. So if you're uh, strong enough to lift it up, we can uh, you can definitely do that. But if not, I suggest team lifting and I'll get one of my friends here to come on by and help me lift this out of the box. So Jay, come on over and uh, give me a give me a hand here. Let me pull this chair out. Couldn't have done it without you, buddy. Okay, well, we don't expect you'll ever want to return this chair because uh, it's a beautiful chair. But if you ever have to, here's an important tip. All the items that you took out for packing, let's go and put those back in the boxes here. Uh, in the event that we have to send this back, we have all our packing materials ready to go. So I'm going to take this, put it away. Close up our box and put that aside. So now that we have the X9 out of the box, we should have our X9 model here and our, our controller on top. As you open up this box here, you're gonna see we have a analog controller and we have our universal toolkit. All right, so inside your toolkit, here's what we're gonna find, two Allen keys. We have a universal uh, selector here for the different nut sizes that are on the chair. We have one socket wrench, we have one flat and Phillips head screwdriver that goes both ways. Just put it in that way and you flip it around and change it to a Phillips head. So one of the first things you want to do uh, as part of the assembly is go ahead and install our joystick here. So you notice that there's a slot here. So in this slot, we're going to push the joystick bar in. When your joystick is in, you're going to take this wire and just push it snugly up inside right underneath that hand bar there. When you receive your X9, this system here, this camera system that locks your joystick in place will be fairly loose here, as you can tell. What we're gonna do is maybe give it one or two turns clockwise. So I'm gonna just turn it clockwise once around and we're gonna tighten it up. So it should be snug right here about halfway through. And if we do, we're gonna push this up and lock your joystick in place. Now that we have our controller in place, we're going to unfold the chair by simply pulling the armrest apart. Pull them apart here, get your hands, Press them down and you'll hear it snapping or locking in place. After we unfold our wheelchair, we're going to take our two bars on the back and lift these up. Now these are going to lift up pretty easily and they're going to just snap into place here. You're going to hear a snap on each one of these. Okay, with our handles up, you're going to notice you have two uh, screws here. Now these have to be opened up a bit to add our headrest in there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these counterclockwise here. And we'll open them up so we can fit our headrest assembly in here. Headrest assembly is going to come with Velcro on one side and no Velcro on this side here. So we're going to, the side with the no Velcro is going to go on the back. So we're going to push this bar in. Might have to squeeze a little bit to push this in and it will go in pretty easily and slide down. Now, once you have it slid in place, you want to go ahead and turn these clockwise to give it a little bit of tension here to tighten this up. I'm going to go ahead and do both of these. So now our headrest is installed. So our chair is starting to come together, and here is our bottom cushion. I'm going to go ahead and assemble this and put it in here. Now you do have Velcro. That should stick on there very nicely and uh, keep that in position here. Okay, here's our backrest. I'm going to put that in. 
and line up the Velcro and we're going to push that on nice and centerized. Now here's an important step here. We're going to notice we have our headrest here. Now we do have this protective layer on here on your Velcro. We're so going to peel those off otherwise your headrest won't stick without it and we're going to stick that on here. Okay so we're going to open up our box here. It has some of our accessories in it. It's going to have our leg rest and our anti-tippers. Okay, so in here you're going to have two leg rests with actuators, a left and a right. And you also have your anti-tippers. Alright, so we're going to install the anti-tippers, but before we do that, if you take a look at this cable here, uh, this cable actually has to move towards the front. So you might have it in the back right here, but let's go ahead and pull this through. This is actually part of the controller system. So I'm going to take this and just move it forward, get it out of our way. Okay, so we're going to give a little bit of squeeze here and pull this up. You're going to notice the bar goes up. And we're going to match this hole up to this hole in the bar. Push it in nice and softly there. Ma match it up and get our pin and push it right back in. And just repeat that for the left side. Now we're going to install our two foot plates. We have a left and a right side. Easiest way to distinguish these is take a look at the brackets here. The brackets are on this one will be on the outside of the chair. So in this one here, this is our right side bracket. As we're installing this on to the system here where the two pins are at, we want to make sure that this cable here right goes underneath and also we'll be able to plug that in a little bit later. So we're going to move that cable down to the bottom, slide this onto our two pins, push it down, and then we're going to push it over. This mechanism here will lock it in place. You want to give it a little bit of tension here and pull it down and lock that in place. So let's repeat the process for the left side. Again, the two pins go right on top, making sure our cable here is underneath and we're going to hit push that onto the bar and then lock that one in place. So there. Now that our leg rests are in position here, uh, this wire here, we're going to connect it. So if you take a look at our wire here, we have a clip side that holds on and a hook side. Make sure those are lined up because it's very important to push those in. You'll hear a nice snapping sound just like this. Once that's in position, you're locked in, you're good to go. Now, if you ever need to remove your foot plate, very simply press up on here, take the tension off, and you're able to pull these apart and remove your leg rest. Let's install the battery on the X9. You're going to have a couple of cables that are going to be in your way and this is uh, your power cable and your power to your motors cable here as well. So I'm going to move these out of the way. Push these off to the side here if you can. And you're going to notice we have two tabs here on the battery on the back side of it. Those are going to fit nicely right on this bar here. So if we can take that, place it right over the bar here, slide it down and get our battery in place. With the battery in place, let's take our power supply, the two reds here, and connect those. You'll hear a nice click here. This we're going to open up here and we can slide it down with our hand. Either slide it down or slide it up. It does swivel. This is the power supply for our back rest and our foot rest. So we've got three prongs here that match up to three prongs here. We'll take that push it right into place just like this. Charging the X9 is very simple. Our analog controller has a charge part here right underneath that matches our three prong charging adapter here. So if you take a look at that three prong, match it up to the three holes that you have here and press it directly into the charging unit. Here's a second option for charging the battery. Let's take this out, this three prong adapter here. And our charger has three prongs here. It'll match right up to this and push it right in. We could charge the battery directly. Now, if you need to charge your battery independently of your chair, let's go ahead and plug this. Let's remove our power cable here from the battery. Lift our battery off the back of the chair. You could take this inside the home and charge this independently of the chair by plugging it directly into the wall. Okay, so your footrest has three adjustable heights. And the way we can uh, move these things down is you take our universal key here, place that on the, the nut on the back and take our larger Allen wrench, turning this counterclockwise to loosen up our foot plate. Take a look at this and pull it down. You'll see there's three settings here, about an inch apart on here. So you can extend this down uh, maybe two and a half to three inches longer if necessary. We can get it to about right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in its original position, which is the highest of the three settings here. Putting our bolt back in place. I'm going to grab our nut, put it on the back here, kind of hand tighten it till I get to the point where I can't tighten it anymore. I'll take our universal wrench here, make sure that's firmly gripped on the nut here. Take our Allen key. And now we're going to turn this clockwise and tighten up our foot plate. Now we want to take a look at unfolding these uh, foot rests. Uh, so here's an important step here. Uh, you want to push these back in this direction here and you'll notice that this is, won't open up. 
right? You're gonna have a hard time trying to open that up, but take one more step, tilt this backwards a little bit right here, and then these will slide down very easily. Put those back in position, and then you have your calf rest here and your foot plate here. You're gonna repeat with the left side. So we also have the ability to swing these leg rests out for easy access. So you just pull this tab here on the side here, open up the left side, and pull this tab here, and open up the right side. This will allow for a user to get right into the chair. That in combination with our armrest I lift up, you can see there's a lot of access to the chair. Okay, so one more thing to mention about this chair, we do have a lifting system on the armrest. So if we press this tab here just like this, and we pull this up, we can have the arm raise up for easy access here on the left side. And just to easily push this down, and we'll latch this into place. So lifting the right side armrest is very simple as well. We can press this button here, and it releases this pin right here. You pull this up, and you lift that armrest away. Allows for easy access in and out of the chair. Your X9 will come with this flashlight and USB adapter. It's really neat. This kind of plugs right into our USB port, just like this. You push it in. We have a light that's swivels down and up to light your way as you're going through dark areas. And what's really neat about that, you can turn this off and use this here as a USB uh, charge port for your tablet or iPhone. Or When you receive your chair, you're going to notice that the uh, locking system here is in the unlock position. Now, unlock allows free wheel. So we can take this chair in the unlock position and push it back and forth just like this. Uh, to activate your chair to get it working with the system and the controller, you want to make sure these are in the full lock position, left side and right side. You hear that clicking sound, that means that our wheels are engaged, our motors are engaged, and now the power system works on our chair. With the chair in free wheel mode, it's very easy for a caregiver to go ahead and push this chair back and forth. And notice uh, that we can push this chair, the wheels are free, we can move it all directions. While it's in free wheel mode, the important thing to notice is that there is no braking system. So we do have manual brakes here. You want to make sure these are engaged anytime that you are um, setting somewhere or on a hill or a slope, and make sure that these Brakes are engaged on both left and right side. Engaging the brakes will stop this chair from moving. I'm going to disengage the brakes here. I'm going to go back to the bottom here and engage our motors. When we change this over to the lock position, now we have an electromagnetic brake that's going to keep our chair from moving. So a caregiver can't push this chair. It will not move at all unless we have the controller activated. Okay, so on the X9, our front tires are solid tires. They don't need inflating. Our rear tires will be pneumatic tires on this X9. And they do come properly inflated, but we wanna make sure with these uh, have a little bit more air in them. Now the max pressure you wanna put on here is 35 PSI. But I'm gonna add a little bit to this. I think these are a little bit low. I'm gonna take off our valve stem cap cover. I'm gonna take the pump that was provided in our box. If you take a look, the Hole right here on the top should match this valve stem here. I push this on, you'll hear air coming out. You want to quickly lock that in place. Okay, so with our pump in place, we're going to go ahead and give it some pumping action here and get our tire properly inflated. All right, with the inflation in place, we're going to go ahead and pull this tab here, pop it off, and pull it off, and reinstall our valve cap. So your chair does come equipped with a seat belt system. You want to make sure this is properly adjusted before your user or rider gets into the chair. So if you take a look at your seatbelt, you have an adjustment belt here, and we can go ahead and extend this out for larger riders. You can get a bigger seatbelt. Uh, to open this up, we want to go ahead and pinch this on the two sides here and open this up. So again, proper adjustment is very important to make sure that that is adjusted for the specific rider or user. Remember, with your motors in the lock position, we can now start using our joystick here. We have a lot of controls here. We'll explain these to you as well. Here's our power button. If we turn this on, you're going to see some lights come on. Now this is our battery indicator light. It shows we have about a half range battery here with the orange. A full battery be into the green, but we're here with the orange battery right now. We have other buttons here, the horn. We have the speed buttons, plus or minus, so if we increase the speed by doing this, and decreasing the speed by going down. So these controls on here activate your leg controls and your back control as well. These work independently, or we can choose to use them all at the same time. So what I'm gonna do right now is activate the left leg here. When I press this button, you're gonna see it light up green. I'm gonna use the joystick here to move the leg up or down. So now I'm going to activate the right leg, and by pressing this button here, 
Now the right leg will light up green here and we have the same functionality here with the joystick. We're moving the leg up independently of the left leg and now we're moving the leg down independently of the left leg here. Okay, now we're going to change the control to the backrest by pushing this button here in the middle. When we do that, there are two legs turned off and our backrest turned on green here. So the same thing applies. If we use our controller, we're going to go ahead and lower the backrest and raise the backrest. Now another feature of this controller here is we have the ability to group the legs with one press of the square button here, which does the both back and forth. Or one more press of the square button, we can group all three together. So now we have three working all together. The backrest will go down and the legrest will rise up.